fuck can I sleep and it's you in a fucking bed every night knowing what the fuck you're capable of, knowing what the fuck you are. I don't know, I'm so sorry. I didn't fucking do one fucking thing to you. No, I know. That's the thing, is people that come and do something like this to someone else for no fucking reason deserve to fucking die. They don't deserve to live on the planet. If I did something to you first, that's fine. It makes sense. All I did was fucking do good things for you, take care of you. And in return, you fucking fuck me. And I'm not fucking kidding. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. My opinion is you fucking deserve to be fucking killed. There's no, there's no reason for you to live on this fucking planet to be such a fucked up fucking person. Someone fucking gives you everything, takes care of you, is fucking helping you do whatever it is in life you want, doing everything they can and giving up their life for you, and you turn around and fucking steal from them? I know. <laughs> There's nothing worse. Nothing. And you fucking connive behind my back with a friend of mine and get him in on it to fucking help you fucking connive and fucking rip me off? And now you're living in my house and everything's just fine? Like what the f what's going on in your head? Like what what is what are you what kind of fucking person are you? And you just lay in my bed every night and fucking hug me and after what the fuck you did? Like what the fuck? Like and you sit and we watch these shows at night and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe these crazy like what the fuck? Look in the fucking mirror. What the fuck are you? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Talking about these fucking people. Oh my god, there's so many crazy you're fucking you're fucking I can't even believe the fucking shit you've done. It doesn't even make any fucking and I can't even fucking understand it. I can't even begin to fucking understand it. I'm still carrying all my fucking money in my fucking pants. Count it every fucking minute of the day. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, man? Sorry. What's that? Yeah. So four all together, Anavar, right? Because there was three today and then one from last time. And I think you already paid for the last time. I don't know what the fuck to say, Sarah. This is the wrong time, but I just, I just sit here every day and you're like, hi, sweetie, oh, honey, oh, I love you. And it's just like, you're fucking stealing from me, conniving, fucking me. No one's ever fucked me like that in my life. Yeah, big boy stole from me, but he's not, I, we're not married. We don't live together. We're not having sex every night. When we didn't agree to fucking be partners, we didn't fucking, fucking agree to love each other forever. We didn't fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? You're a million times worse than big boy. And you have the audacity to sit there and go, oh, I can't, he pisses me off and he's, oh, I can't believe it. It's like, you're fucking a hundred times worse. We're married, living together. We fucking said our vows. We're, the, and you're, you're fucking doing the same thing, stealing from me behind my back. I, you're, I'm paying for you. I'm not paying for him. Supporting you 100% doing everything I can to help you in life more than anyone and how do you do to repay me? You fucking stupid me I don't I, I I can't I can't fucking begin for the I can't even for one second even begin to even sort of even understand this And your mom yeah she, she, I, I don't I mean I can't even it seems like she'd be fucking I don't know. I don't know where you fucking people come from. I have no fucking idea. I've never experienced this kind of shit before. 
She watches you do it. She knows you're doing it. <laughs> and then she's act, oh, I'm so oh, dogs, oh, act so sweet and innocent. She knows you're fucking, I'm supporting you. You live with me and you're fucking stealing shit from me and selling it to someone, one of my friends behind my back. She knows you're doing that. How, how, how good is she, Sarah? You tell me, how fucking good is she? Yeah. Is she going to be missed? Will she be missed? Will she really be missed in this world? Will she be missed? Will she fucking be missed? <laughs> I can't even fucking believe this. Why the fuck did I come across you fucking people? I was fucking perfectly fucking happy in my fucking life. Fucking doing good, making money, successful, fucking well-known fucking person for being a good person, doing the right thing, helping people, happy, and I fucking meet you. Why? Why did I fucking, why did I have to fucking meet you? Why did I have to fucking have this come into my fucking life and just fucking, fucking destroy everything, destroy fucking everything? And all I was doing is trying to help you, and you're just trying to destroy me. I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. And all your mom cares about is, oh, you guys got to make up so she can get her green card. That's all she fucking cares about. She has no morals, no fucking nothing, doesn't fucking realize, doesn't even give a fuck what the fuck you did to me. Doesn't even have any idea. No fucking clue, no fucking concept. I guess where you guys come from, you don't you don't get punished for shit like this. Like you don't steal from someone and they don't fucking they don't they don't fucking fucking kill you for that shit. I guess you're not aware of that. I don't know. I, it blows my mind. Where I come from, you fucking steal from someone, they'll fucking catch you. They're gonna fucking kill you. They're not gonna fucking just let you steal from them and fucking get away with it. I don't understand. I don't know where you. I don't know what your guys. I don't know how you guys think. Your mom, all she's worried about is fucking you, me staying with you and giving you your fucking green card. That's all she's fucking concerned with. She's not concerned with me fucking losing my fucking mind and fucking killing both of you. That's what I fucking think about on a fucking daily basis is to fucking kill you for fucking me over. I didn't fucking deserve this shit. I don't fucking deserve any of this shit. I'd love to take you in the park over here and see how you fight back with me. No. You talk about how you fight back with your boyfriend. You ain't going to have no motherfucking chance fighting back with me. Oh, stop, man. You think that motherfucker was a badass? That no. motherfucker ain't shit. I never said that You ain't going to have no fucking chance against me, Sarah. I know. No motherfucking chance. I know. You won't get one motherfucking scratch in. I know. No, you don't know. You talk like you're fucking tough. You don't know no. fucking tough. That motherfucker wasn't shit. No, he wasn't. We'll go in the park right now. We'll fucking no. see how you can fight back. No. Oh, I'll fight back. I fought back with him. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go see you fight no, back. No, I don't want that. There ain't no fighting back. One fucking slap, your ass is fucking out. There ain't no fucking fighting back. <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> Unfucking believable. If you stole from him, he should have fucking killed your ass. He shouldn't have just beat you up. You deserve more than a fucking beating. You deserve to be fucking killed. And then I wouldn't have, then you wouldn't have been doing this shit to me. He would have did me a fucking favor by killing your motherfucking ass. And you probably were doing this shit to him. You're probably fucking, you're probably the fucking, you're the fucking bad person, not that motherfucker. You're the motherfucker. You probably were fucking stealing from him and fucking him over like you are me. Then he fucking stood up for himself and gave you what he deserved, and now you're the victim. And oh, my boyfriend beat me up, motherfucker. You fucking probably deserve that shit. You deserve to fucking get your fucking shit kicked out of you right now from me. And if you don't see that, then you're fucking, you got mental issues. Because that's what you fucking deserve, stealing from me when I'm helping you out. You don't, you don't think you deserve to fucking get the shit kicked out of you? What do you think? Where do you come from? If you had a girl roommate and she was stealing from you behind your back, would you not fucking beat her ass when you found out? If you guys were best friends for years and you trusted her and she fucking started stealing from you behind your back, would you not beat her ass? Huh? Huh? Not talk to her or just 
<laughs> poor Sarah, poor me. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. I didn't fucking do anything to you. Nothing, Sarah. You fucking stole from me. But you're gonna play the victim. Poor Sarah. Mom, Rich threatened me. Rich said this. He's bad like the other guy. We're good. We need to we need to leave because He's another bad one, and we're just good, innocent people that keep running into bad people. We're all good. We don't do anything wrong. Let's go to Vegas, Mom. Is that is that how you, is that how it is? Yeah, it is. That's the part you play. You and your mom are all good, and and don't do anything wrong. And I'm and and that guy was the fucking piece of shit. Now I'm gonna be the piece of shit. When all I did was fucking help you and fucking pay for you and fucking do everything I could to fucking help you. And you fucking turn on me for no reason and start stealing from me. Call up a fucking my friend and fucking get him involved stealing from me. <clears throat> Who Red would do anything for any fucking girl. Anything. He'd fuck his own dad over for a fucking girl. Is that fucking hopeless? I just don't get it. I know you've only done good things. What? You've only done good things. I what? You've only done good things. I don't understand it. You didn't even do bad things. You did like unbelievable, horrific, un unimaginable, fucking doesn't even make any fucking sense kind of shit. I am incapable of doing something like that. I, I don't give a fuck what drug I'm on. There's no way in the fucking world, no way I would fucking steal from you. <laughs> and you're going to sit here and blame it on the drug. No, sorry, sorry. No matter what fucking drug I was on, I would not fucking be capable of doing something like that. It does not exist in my fucking body to fucking do something like that. To someone who I care about or I'm even friends with or even 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 someone I'm just fucking talk to on a normal basis, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it to a stranger. I couldn't do why? Why would I want to fuck someone over like that? If you were out of meth and you're out of your mind and you need a fuck another hit of meth, that's a different story. That's not what happened. You just wanted to help other people out. You just wanted to help people out. You just wanted to help other people. People you owed money to. So you're going to steal from me and give it to them. Like, why? Why are they more important? Why? Are that is, uh... <laughs> they aren't. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> you don't deserve this. I'm sorry.
told me you were going to never have your headphones in your phone again. I told you I don't trust you. And you told me you want my trust, so that's what you're going to do to help build my trust. Now, every time I look and your headphones in your phone, you're, my opinion is you're talking to Red, you're talking, you're, you're, you're up to scandalous shit. And that's, that's what I think, and I told you that's what I was going to think. And I told you that all along. You told me you'll never have your headphones in your phone again. I said, do you really need your headphones? Is your headphones more important than our, our marriage, our relationship, our trust? You said no. I said, okay, then you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. You said, okay, I'll never have my headphones in my phone again. Okay, every time I look and your headphones are in your phone, my opinion is people are texting you that you don't want me to know about, so you have your headphones in your phone. And I told you that's what it makes me think. And your headphones are in your phone 24-7. And it just shows me that you you don't, you don't, you're, you're still up to shit. You don't want to fix things. Babe, babe, what is your, what is your answer to that? What I just said? What is your answer? You said, fine, I'll throw these away. Well, I don't, you're right. I don't need them. I'll throw them away and I'll never fucking use them. I don't need them. You're right. A relationship is more important. That's what you told me. It so, is more important. So please explain to me. Please, I mean, give me, go I ahead. Just, try to give me an explanation. I just forgot to, to, that I was not supposed to be. You don't, no, you head. don't. We fought about it over and over again. We fought about it like four, three or four times in a row. You said you were going to throw them away. And they're in your phone every fucking night. And I told you, I, I don't see any other girls that walk around with earphones in their phone. I've had many of your girlfriends, they're not at home with earphones in their phone. And they're not trying, their phone's not hidden from me. Their phone's right the fuck in front of me where I can fucking see it because we trust each other and we have a trustful relationship. And we have a great relationship that we trust each other while we're in the relationship. You don't want that. You don't want that. You could have that. All you gotta do is, all you gotta do is take the headphones out and put your fucking phone right and fucking on the bed next to mine and not be fucking petrified that you're doing scandalous shit and someone's gonna text you in the middle of the night and fucking I have not been cause problems. Well, then you, well, then your phone would be right on the fucking bed and right there and your headphones would be fucking thrown away and you wouldn't put headphones in your motherfucking phone unless you were working out. Period. But again, we've already argued about this. We already fought about it and you already said you were gonna fix it and you never fixed anything. And you never will. You never will fix anything. Never. Because you're just going to keep doing scandalous shit. You're going to keep fucking... You're not going to want to fix things. You're not going to want to make things better. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Because if you did, you'd fucking... You'd, you'd fix these things. If you did, you'd fucking... You'd break your motherfucking phone and you wouldn't fucking use it. You wouldn't give a fuck about any motherfucking people in this fucking world except our fucking relationship. But that's not the case. So that's why I want you to just I, take your fucking phone and your fucking headphones and fucking whatever. It's just, I can't fucking, I can't fucking deal with this shit. I can't, you know? If you really wanted to fucking fix things, you would have you'd fucking, you'd fucking fix it. Your fucking phone would be right fucking here, right here, when we're driving. It'd be right on the bed when we're eating. Your headphones would be fucking gone. Because you'd want to prove... Hey, what's up? Um, I'm at the gym. I'm just in the parking lot. Okay, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll come in before you leave. If I don't, if I don't, I'm in the parking lot. Just call me. Okay. All right, bye-bye. to say sir I don't know what to say you don't want this you want to make you want this thing that you don't want this you never wanted it and you, you all you want to do is make it worse and I, I'm at a point where I don't know what to do all I can do is just beat the fuck out of you no no that's all I can do because you won't listen to me so that's why you need to just get the fuck out that's why you need to just go the fuck back to ice and get the fuck out of my house get the fuck away from me because I can't take it anymore because I'm losing my fucking mind and that's all I want to fucking do because you won't listen to me. You won't do anything, you know. So there's, there's, we don't, we can't be in a relationship because you're, you're, you're not going to do what you need to do unless I beat the fuck out of you. And I don't want to beat the fuck out of you because there's too many other wonderful fucking beautiful fucking women out there that I can be with that, that will, will fucking die to be with me and, and fucking want to be with me. And I don't have to beat the fuck out of them to get them to fucking do what I, to listen to me. So it doesn't make any sense for me to stay in this fucking relationship because you are never going to fucking want to make this work ever.
And when I say something, you say nothing. You say nothing, which shows I do 100 want to, fucking percent. You do want to make things better. No, you don't say anything. I say, I say by your phone, you don't say nothing. You don't say nothing. Yeah, you are right. And I just wasn't thinking. I'm right about what? That, like, I said that I was going to take ha not in my headphones, but then I, then I had them in and... <laughs> and it looks like, and he already said. Sarah, you know what? Fuck it, forget it, okay? Just take your fucking phone, and you and your mom, when I get back, you guys get the fuck out of here. You go the fuck back to Iceland. Take your <laughs> fucking dogs, get the fuck out of here, okay? <laughs> because you're not willing to do one fucking hundredth of what you need to do to fix this situation, okay? <laughs> you're not willing to do a one fucking hundredth, all right? <laughs> this situation that I fucking have given you is worth a million times more than you're willing to fucking act <laughs> like it's worth. <laughs> And right now you're going to give me, oh, well, okay, from now on, no, f no, sorry, sorry, you should have broke your phone five minutes ago. You should have broke your motherfucking phone five minutes ago and said, Rich, I'm willing to do any motherfucking thing there is to fix this shit. But you're not, and you will never will be. So take your phone and go back to Iceland and have your fucking phone. All you're doing right now is you're just making me matter. No, you're just making me babe, want to get you I, the fuck out. You're making me want to go home and fucking t kick your mom the fuck no, out babe, right this minute. Stop just it. by the way you're acting, you're stop making me matter. It, babe. I'm just I want you. to make things better. No, you're making it worse by sitting there fucking not saying a word. Just, <laughs> I just can't believe that I'm doing all this to make all this be this way and not. <laughs> I'm just getting madder and madder. I just want to go home and grab your mom by the fucking hair and throw her ass out the fucking no! house. No! Grab you out by the fucking Stop hair and throw you the fuck babe. out of the house. Stop, babe. Fucking motherfucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> fucking motherfucking bitch. You fucking lie to me to my fucking face. You sit there and lie to me in my fucking face. In my motherfucking house, I'm buying you fucking dinner at night and fucking doing things for you, and you're gonna sit down, look me in the eye, and fucking lie to my fucking face. That's what the fuck you're gonna do. I'll pound your fucking face in. The fuck is wrong with you? What kind of person are you? You lie to my fucking face. Lie to my face in my fucking house. You're both stealing from me. You're both fucking me over. Fucking lie to my face about it. <laughs> Unfucking believable, Sarah. <laughs> Unfucking believable. <laughs> I come out and straight out say, I know you're lying. Keep on lying. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Just fucking straight up lie to your face. You tell him, I know you're lying. Sarah already fucking told me. She already told me. The gig is up. Keeps on fucking lying to me. And then plays a, oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm going to have a heart attack. Fuck you. You're scared. You're bullshit. You just don't know what the fuck to say because you feel fucking stupid. <laughs> Stop with your stupid fucking games. Uh, I'm scared. Huh? I might have a heart attack. I don't know what the, uh, oh, uh, fuck you. Fucking games. Fucking, you just, you know you fucking feel stupid, you look stupid, and you're a fucking piece of shit to sit here and fucking lie to me, and be part of this fucking conniving me, you fly down here to fucking stay in my home, and you're gonna fucking watch your fucking daughter steal from me, and go fucking sell it to a friend of mine for fucking money, and I'm welcoming you in my home to come stay with me, what kind of person is that, Sarah, what kind of person is that? Really? What kind of person is that? Did I do anything to your mom? Did I? Why do I deserve that? And you're always, you're always going to be a piece of shit. You're never, ever going to decide to be a good person. You're never, ever going to decide to say, you know what? I'm tired of this life. I'm gonna, tired of this life. I'm tired of scamming people. I'm tired of fucking borrowing money and owing money and... I'm tired of it. I just want to fucking, I just want to be a good person. I'm tired of this life. You're never going to fucking ever do that. Never. 
You're mm-hmm. never going to fucking just say, I'm tired of being a bad person. I'm tired yes. of borrowing money, not knowing where I'm going to pay rent, not knowing this, I not am. knowing that. I'm Listen to my mom, doing what she says. My mom tells me to do this, I do it. But I'm tired of this life. I just want to have a good, unstressful, wonderful life. Yes, I do. No, you don't, because you have it, and you're not fucking taking it. You had every opportunity to be with me and say, you know what, Mom? Fuck you. I'm not going to do this scandalous shit anymore. I'm going to start a new life with a good person, and I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to connive. I'm not going to mislead. I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to do this shit anymore. But that's not you. You want to keep doing it. You want to, this is the life you want to live. Like mother, like daughter. And that's what you're going to keep doing. And you're never going to have anything in life. You're going to be just like your mom. You're going to be old, alone, nowhere to live, no one to fucking live with. That's where you're going to be. (laughs) And probably not have kids. Because I'm not having kids with you. That's for goddamn sure. So this is what you choose for your life. And I gave you every opportunity to fucking fix it. You don't want to fix it. You don't want to change. You don't want to be a good person. No, you don't. If you did, a long time ago, you would have said, okay, Rich, you're right, I'm done. And you would have fucking came out with everything and said, blah, 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 told me, and instead of this, but I want a new start. I want to start fresh. I want to start the right way. I want to start everything right. And it's not right. Everything is still fucked up. And only you can make it right. And you do not want to make it right. Things are still fucked up. And you don't realize what I told you from the very beginning. In the end, you're going to lose. You're going to suffer. You think you're doing things the right way, and you're not. You're not going to get ahead doing things the way you're doing it. Maybe your mom thinks you are. Maybe you believe her. You're not. You're not. No, I know. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna not be happy with me when we finally break up. You're gonna go end up going back to Iceland eventually because you're gonna be fucked. And you're gonna be worse off than you've ever been. And it's your choices that you're making is causing this. And you had every opportunity to fucking have a wonderful life with me. And you're not doing it. And you're going to be in Iceland with your mom. That's where you're going to end up. I guarantee it. You don't think so. That's where you're going to end up. And your mom knows that. She knows if we don't work out, you are going to have to go back to Iceland. Unless you're going to be a hooker, a fucking, an escort, sucking dick for money. It's the only way you're not going to go back to Iceland. And I don't know. Maybe that's fucking in the books. I don't know. No. No, it's not. I don't know. I would not put it past you. That's for goddamn sure. I wouldn't put it past your mom. I wouldn't put it past your mom to fucking go fucking get the business for you and tell the guy what you're going to do for her, what you're going to do for him. Because that's how your mom strikes me, is that she'll fucking go get the guy and say, yeah, my daughter will do this and this. It's going to be this much money. And hook up the deal and everything and let you fucking do it. No. That's how she strikes me. Well, it's just not like that. Well, then why the fuck would she let you fucking steal from me and fucking right under her nose know what you're doing and let you do it? And then fucking still stay in my house. Most moms would have left. They would have said, okay, sir, I can't be, I'm leaving. I can't be involved in this shit. You're stealing from your husband. Are you kidding me? I can't sleep in this house. She was not happy about that. She said it was wrong. Well, she was not (laughs) unhappy enough. That's for goddamn sure. She, she told me how to do it and it wasn't right and everything. And I just told her not to mind her own business. I'm sorry. I don't deserve any of it. <laughs>
back where we're, we're back where we were, and I already know this is just downhill. I already know how all this works at this point now. Now you're gonna ignore me. You're gonna act fucking whatever. You're gonna do whatever. No. <laughs> you keep pressuring me about signing this fucking this cold fucking cider, babe. I don't know what I want. I don't fucking know if I want you in my life. Fuck. I wanted you in my life. Fuck, babe. I wanted to fucking marry you and be with you and have a nice life. The fuck? You do all this shit to me. Why? Why do I want to live with someone who's robbing me when I can be with someone who's not going to rob me? Why? Why would I be with someone who's going to rob me? Why? I simply say you're, 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 you're whatever when you're and you you don't change anything. <laughs> you're still fucking being scandalous. <laughs> you and your mom talk about me like I'm a fucking enemy. Always there, always here. What's he doing? What's that? Da, 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 da. Oh, let's do this. Let's do that. Oh, let's go to Vegas. Oh, let's do this. Oh, I can't live like this. I'm the enemy. No, yeah, you guys are guessing my fucking house. You're are you not, fucking kidding me? I'm not the enemy. <laughs> No, that's how you guys talk. I know. I said things that I shouldn't have, you know, when I was angry and it's, you know, it's stupid, angry as well. You didn't do anything, you know, it's stupid. And I'm sorry. You what? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I said, I said, I said a lot of things that, that I didn't mean and, and did things that I <laughs> I can't even imagine that I would do anything like that and I'm just so sorry because you haven't done anything except good. <laughs> Why though? Why? Why? Why do it to me? Why? Why? Why me? I don't know what I was thinking. No, I mean, but out of everyone, why me? Why me? Why me? Why didn't you rip off Red? Why did you say Red, blah, 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 and then when he comes, fucking say, where's the money, and then fucking fuck you? I should have done that. Why? Why? You love Red more than me? No. Yeah, you do. I don't care No, you him. do. No, bullshit. You ripped me off. You didn't rip him off. Sorry, that's the way my mind works. I have a different mind than you. I look at things differently. Sorry, no, that's the way I see it. You care more about him than me. Because otherwise, otherwise you, you wouldn't rip me off. I'd be the last person you ripped off. The person you care about the most is the last person you rip off. That, don't you agree? If I was going to rip someone off, the people I care about the most would be the last person I rip off. I'd go to people that I don't care about down the line. The person I care the most about in life would be the last person I rip off. Does that, do you disagree with me? Does that not make sense to you? Huh? Hello? No, it does make sense. Oh, it does? Does it make perfect fucking sense? Is it pretty much the truth? Is it 100% on? Huh? Yeah, I didn't know it. Yeah, exactly, it is, it's 100%. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm pulling up right now. Okay, I'll come in. I'll come in the front uh, desk. Okay, bye. Does that not make perfect sense? Yeah. The person you care about the most is the last person you rip off? That's why I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. You don't know? <laughs> and I simply say something like, can we, can we, can we get to coke at the fucking store and you're in nope nope i'm gonna steal from you and uh, no i'm not gonna fuck no, no. Wait, sorry you gotta buy me coke too motherfucker fuck you